Hey there, good people from around the world. Welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. Today I'm going to show you how to create this pop art effect in Photoshop using filters and layers and masks and selections and uh, all that kind of stuff. It's not a difficult tutorial, I would say it's an intermediate level and you'll have everything that you need for this on the resources folder. Uh, just to let you know, you can download this uh, PSD file for free. Uh, you don't have to be a member for that. You can download it from resources.psdbox.com so you can see how I made this. And as I said, on the resources folder, you'll find everything that you need uh, to follow with, uh, along with this tutorial. So I'm using Photoshop CC 2018, but you can do this in any Photoshop version. CS uh, would be recommended, and if you have CC, even better for some of the things that we're going to do. But if you're experienced with Photoshop, you can do it in pretty much any Photoshop version. These are the layers, and this is the final effect. Let me show the original image again. We're going to go from this to this. So I hope you will enjoy it, and let's get started. So we're going to start with our uh, portrait here. I'm not going to spend time deleting the background. It's really easy, the magic wand or quick selection, and just delete the background. I'm going to grab my image from here and move it to the other canvas right over here and we're done let me i'm going to show the mask that i have but it's it's fun i had a lot of fun making this effect and actually i i made this effect because i saw it on a on a graffiti on a on a wall and the effect is exactly the same as i saw there so I saw it on a photograph. So that's how I created this one. Let's name this um, R for right and create a new one. And I'm gonna go uh, fast forward here. Make it there. Maybe I could create some more lines here, like so, but anyways. So this is how it looks like. Uh, that gloss there on the lips, I think gives them more volume and looks a bit better. But I'm not a really good illustrator or a painter, so I would probably, I could probably do more, but uh, I'm limited by my knowledge. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's create some final adjustments and we're done. Uh, the first adjustment that I created is a color lookup. I actually used three color lookups and a selective color. If you don't have Photoshop CC, you will not be able to, uh, CS6, you will not be able to have this because uh, prior to CS6, uh, color lookup, uh, was not uh, existent in Photoshop. And I used the Cobalt Carmine and set the, the opacity to 40 and the blend mode to soft light. And check that out, see how it changes the colors, give that blue tone on the background. Then another color lookup, I used the Crisp Warm. No, not Crisp Warm, crisp warm. Um, normal at 30%. This gives more warmth, especially on the portrait. And then another color lookup with crisp winter. And we set it on normal at 25%. If it's too blue, you can leave it even lower, 15 or 20 or something like that. And this gives the final punch to this image. Uh, check it out before and after. And I used another adjustment, which is uh, a selective color, and I changed the cyans a bit. You can control the look of those cyans. I'm gonna give you the values. I used 17, 14, minus 22, and 14 to add more darkness, but maybe it's a bit too dark, and maybe too yellowish, uh, too bluish, so I'm gonna leave it there.